I think I think it's about two o'clock and we will go live very shortly this is the view that I'm currently looking at hello welcome I'm John and today is our first ever on location live stream from the Lake District in the UK and I'm currently on a a bridge funnily enough uh, it's a double arch bridge um, near to Grange it's called Grange in Borrowdale and it's just behind me just here um, Grange was first established uh, in the medieval era by and built by monks from Furness Abbey and uh, can hear you brilliant looks beautiful but windy it certainly is Karen <laughs> it's very windy um, yes the monks from uh, Furness Abbey uh, built a little settlement here um, in Grange and hence why it's called Grange in Borrowdale and it's in the heart of the Lake District and this bridge which you can see one of the arches behind me here where the, the cars are driving across um, it's actually got two arches the other one is um, the other way there we go and this bridge was actually built in 1675 uh, incredible time ago um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Lake District but I'm also going to tell you about why I'm here in, in Grange and a year uh, ago to the day pretty much I hosted a workshop a live paint along workshop with um, one of our professional artists Robert Dutton and his reference photo that we all painted along with was of this particular bridge just here so what I'm going to try and do with you joining me today uh, on this first ever live stream is we're actually going to try and walk to where he took that photo um, I've not spoken to him about where he where he actually took that photo but we're going to try and find it and we're going to view it together now so hello good afternoon um, so what do I find so special about the Lake District well the Lake District is the largest national park in the UK it's um, an incredible amount of it's a mountainous area if you're not if you're not familiar with the Lake District it's in the northwest part of England and loads of mountains and obviously as the name suggests a lot of lakes as well I think it's got the deepest natural um, freshwater lake in in the UK um, but some stunning scenery and the reason why I try and get back every year obviously last year was quite hard is just the number of walks that you can take in the Lake District is just fantastic so you can come up you could probably go into the lakes every week and do a different walk in fact I did a bit of research and the number of the total distance of walks in the Lake District um, totals over 2,000 kilometers or 1,300 miles which to give you some perspective on how far that is um, I, I went on to Google Maps and if you walked from New York City from uh, the Empire State Building all the way down to Miami you'd almost be you'd almost have done the number of walks that there are in the Lake District uh, to bring it back closer to home um, if you walked from the tip of Cornwall and the south the southernmost part of the UK all the way up to the northernmost part of the UK to John O'Groats up at the top of Scotland um, and then back again about halfway that's about how many miles you would have covered if you did all the walks in the Lake District so an incredible amount of walks now I think I did recce this uh, a moment ago when I arrived and I think that Robert took the um, his photo from just over there so we're going to try and get across there but I noticed that there's a stream so I'm just going to go just have a bit of focus now while I um, but I can I'll try and <laughs> You can sort of join me I hope I'm not going to drop the camera um, but I do have to cross over some of these uh, streams this one is kind of okay but this next one which I'll show you 
Uh, let's try and flip that round there. There we go. Should be okay, but I just need to find a place that I can cross. Let's have a look just here. That'll do. There we go. I'll let you join me in the, uh, the intrepidation of trying to cross here. So let's try and get across. Oops, a bit windy as well. Okay, actually it wasn't too bad. So we're going to go across here and um, now the other reason for doing this live stream and thank you for, for joining me today is I want this to be the start of something. I wanted to do this in 2022 really, uh, do the odd on location live stream. So we're, we're starting with a plein air workshop next week. Uh, we're going to um, California and we're going to be joining um, uh, Gabriel Stockton for a plein air workshop uh, out out and about at uh, Balboa Park in California so that's going to be a fantastic um, workshop but following that in the weeks uh, following I'm wanting to actually go and oh Sandra says it's minus eight and going to snow again oh goodness Sandra it is getting a bit chilly here but we haven't got well there is some snow on the tips of the mountains which I don't know whether I can show you any here but um, yes there isn't any snow as you can see on the ground here um, and somebody said I'm very excited about the let's see if I can see the live chats um, Trina says looks lovely John remember that Graham said about artists needing to stand in the middle of the water to get the perfect yes that's right I'm not going to stand in the middle of the water though the water here I'll just show you how fast it's going it's really and it's pretty deep to be honest uh, there was a canoeist just here a moment ago and they, they set off from that bridge now so that is the bridge that is the bridge that was on the photo reference that <laughs> yes I haven't got my waders on um, so that's the bridge there and then it had that building but it was a little bit of a closer up session so I think actually if I go along to the end of this little peninsula I think That'll probably be the angle that Robert took. Before we show that though, um, so as I was saying, so I'm wanting to do some on location live streams. Obviously I need to tie it into art though, rather than just going on a jolly to the Lake District, uh, like a holiday, although it's lovely to have you with me. Um, but what, we're, what I'm thinking of doing is um, we're going to pick certain quintessentially English towns that we're going to go and visit and we're going to go to an art gallery there and we're going to do a live stream from within the art gallery and you can join me and we can ask questions to the uh, gallery owner we can have them give us a tour of some of the the art that they've got on their walls and talk about the artists that they're hosting as well and I thought that would be a really lovely um, moment to that we could all share in and we'll, we'll give that a go we'll get, have a couple of um, live streams where we do that and um, see see how it goes and if it goes really well then maybe we'll go a bit further afield here and there so uh, and if you've got any suggestions for art galleries or uh, indeed towns in England we'll start off with England not too far afield um, haven't got an unlimited budget um, then you know we'll maybe try and uh, schedule those in Sandra says great idea yeah I, I think it'll be really fascinating so we'll obviously continue with our paint along workshops uh, obviously what we won't be ever losing that but um, what we do want to do is we want to start bringing in a few other things as well and I think having some gallery tours will be fantastic and London's not too far away from where um, I reside as well so we can go into London we could have a look and there's obviously fantastic uh, galleries in London so let's just have a look at this scene here I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to fall into this river so I think if I turn the camera now around here and flick you around the other way that is the scene that Robert not the bridge on the left it was actually let me just try and let's see if I can zoom up a bit there we go I think that was the photo reference that Robert Dutton gave to us for the workshop that we did literally a year ago today so a lovely and you can you can put it into context having one of these little live streams you can kind of see 
Can you go to Bishop Auckland, to the Mining Art Museum and Gallery? Right, well, I'll tell you what, Sandra. Do, if you're a patron, do message me on Patreon about where you'd like me to go and we'll try and schedule it in. Um, I'll give you, I'll stop talking for a moment and let's just soak in the, the environment and hopefully, I don't know whether you can hear the gushing of the, the stream, but it's lovely. There you go. Oh gosh, what's going on with my hair? Um, <laughs> it is lovely, Trina. Trina, and this is just scraping the surface. There are so many beautiful areas in the Lake District. So I definitely, definitely, oh, another stat I picked up was the number of, it is the, the, the most widely visited national park in the UK. And they have, uh, may not have had this number last year, but usually they have about 16 million visitors a year, which is incredible. The number of coffee shops, cake shops, you know, you can imagine, uh, it's, it's uh, amazing. So it, it's a really lovely, and it caters for all levels as well. You can go on some really challenging mountain walks, but you can also keep quite in more of the lowlands and they've got some lovely coffee shops and things. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and uh, hello, Sally, <laughs> glad you can hear me. Yeah, I bought a little, can you, can you notice a little lapel mic there? So hopefully that should be, uh, you should go for a swim. No, thank you, Pierre. It's, it's incredibly cold. Um, now, the, the thing I wanted to uh, mention to you all, Soggy and Kent, said, yeah, yeah uh, the thing I wanted to mention, so we've got a, a little uh, surprise gift, if you like. So you've just been with me now to look at that view that we did for the reference photo for Robert's workshop. And that workshop, it was a really interesting one and the final result was incredible that Robert created. I mean, it was a really very loose and he used acrylic paint um, on watercolour paper um, and then also pastel over the top. And because of the way that the acrylic inks actually go as an initial surface, you can even, you can even wipe off the pastel and, and redo things. So it's an incredible thing. Now, you'd, if you don't have those particular materials, it doesn't really matter, but um, because I, I guess you could just use watercolours if you really wanted to go with it. It's, it's a whole, the whole spirit of it. But all the materials are on the uh, description page for his, his workshop. But the special gift for joining me today is that um, if you are a patron of our channel, and you can be even a level one patron, just five pounds a month where you get free access to all our live uh, short shows, um, you can take part in that workshop for the next 24 hours uh, we've unlocked it for any patron level for the next 24 hours and you can um, take part in that workshop and you can paint this beautiful scene that's just in front of me i've just stepped back now um, with robert and myself literally uh 12 months ago to the day um, just around the corner there so the link for that particular so sandra as a patron when this is finished in the description just below this video um, there's a link and it says special link or special surprise or something or other um, click that link it'll go through to the particular page on patreon and it's got the workshop there and it's been unlocked for any patron level from one and upwards and you can download the reference photo from there as well and you can take part now normally it's just for patrons level five or up but uh, for today and today only um, you can uh, access that and, and paint along at home and if you want to then post it the link to the Facebook post that we we made where you could um, sh put up that uh, put up your painting is there so do uh, leave that take a photo and share that online so that we can see what you've done but thank you so much everyone for joining me today. It's been really lovely and um, <laughs> it's been a great live stream and it's worked and we're in the middle of the Lake District. And I think, 
I think the highest we had was about 100 people uh, watching this. So it was lovely that you were, you were joining me. And do I'd, I'd love to see the paintings that you do from uh, the workshop. You can feel like you've been here now um, in to, to the spot where Robert took that photo. I think it was slightly greener. So I think it was at probably a different time of year. But um, do, and Francois said, Robert's workshop was one of my favorites and I'd love more with inks and watercolors. Okay, well, thank you, Francois. And we've done 14 classes with Robert, so do go to our video library. So if you do enjoy that workshop and you want to either purchase that workshop, be brave man to try this. Thank you, Victoria. I've got to get back over the stream in a minute. I think I might just leave, leave uh, that until after the uh, live stream is finished. Um, so, you know, do check out our workshop, um, uh, our work, all, all the list of uh, recordings on our video library uh, by heading over to shopkeeparty.com and if you search by artist I'm not sure whether we oh hello there we go I think we're back I think we cut off for a moment um, so if you head over to our video library at shopkeeparty.com select by artist and select Robert and you'll see the 14